sing with me, son. All right. We got to do it. They're going to put me in the movie. Request, I'm going to do one more, but you want to hear it. You're looking at me. What you want, sister? What you want? You got one on your mind? No? Request? Anything? No, no, no. Yeah, what do you want? You want something? No, no. Don't be nervous. No, I'm singing in a liquor store in Montgomery, Alabama. Man. You know. First of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you guys for having this today. I know it's Easter weekend and everybody's got places to be. Uh, but uh, I built this whiskey because I've been a crown drinker my whole life. You guys know Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. You know that song? Yeah. Now, what does that song say? It says, I'm going to buy the bar a double round of crown. And everybody's getting down in this town and never gonna be the same, right? I've always been a crown drinker. A Canadian blended whiskey. I like it. I've sold a lot of it for them with no compensation in my direction. I just liked it. But I got to wonder one day, well, they're Canadian blended. Where's the American blended? Right? Right. Well, if you walk in this liquor store and you ask that lady back there behind the uh, cash register, how you doing? If I asked you this question, if I said, show me your American blended whiskey, where would you point me to? American blended? That's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no such thing. Can you believe that? Nobody's ever done it. So in 2017, I started working with a master distiller, a female master distiller. There's three in North America that are the really the great ones. Three, three ladies. All the rest of them are guys. But I don't know about you, but I've always said if you can find a really smart, powerful, creative woman, that's who you want to work with. Forget all these dudes, right? We all have the same opinion. Here's my opinion. Here's her opinion. And between the two of us, we look at it like that, right? We see the whole thing. That's how I write songs. That's how I go about everything I do. So we started working on this bottle. I said, I want it to be American blended and I want it to be smoother and have a better finish and smell better than Crown Royal because America's gotta beat Canada at some point. We gotta do it, right? We gotta be better if we're gonna do American blended. It was tough. Almost eight months that we spent going back and forth and I mean, I'm talking hundreds, literally hundreds of samples showing up in my house in Nashville. And I'm trying them, I'm going, nope, 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 I don't like that, oh, it's kind of close, we ain't through yet. And I mean, it just kept going and going and going till we finally got that final sample, which is what's in these bottles right here. And I said, that's it. Now, before I put it on the shelf, I said, I got one last person to run it by. Would you like to guess who that is? Granny Rich. <laughs> She's 86. Wow. Wow. Still works 40 hours a week at an alteration shop called Rich Designs and Alteration. She don't work there because she has to, because I take care of her. She works there because as she's smoking her Marlboro Red, <laughs> she'll look at you and go, why are you still working like that, Granny? She goes, because I can, and that's what you're supposed to do when you live in this country. <laughs> that's where I come from. I come from that world. I grew up in a, in, a, in a little town called Amarillo, Texas, up in the Panhandle. 
double wide trailer in Tornado Alley, man. I'm a, I'm a cliche, walking cliche. Because tornadoes love trailer parks, right? But I know what it's like uh, when you're working class, man. I mean, you've got a little money left over, you come in a liquor store like this, and you're like, well, I'd like to buy that bottle, but I ain't got enough of that, so I'm gonna buy that bottle. But that bottle's gonna burn you up, right? It's, it's tough. So what do you do? You mix it with a bunch of stuff, right? Try to make it good. And you still have a party, you still have a good time. My goal with this whiskey was, can we have an American blended whiskey that's a premium level whiskey that don't burn you and it tastes great and it's easy to drink and you can afford it. We put it under 25 bucks. I'm whooping Crown Royal's butt in the store right now. I'm sorry, Crown, but we are. <laughs> American blend is on the shelf. This is the first glass to hit Alabama in 2018. The next round will be the second round. This is the first round. We're giving money back on every single bottle. My daddy's a non-denominational, Bible-banging, fire-breathing, pistol-toting preacher. You know those kind of guys? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He taught me about tithing. Mm -hmm. You give back. There you go. So when you're thinking about who do you give back on something like this, who do you give it to? There's a group called the Folds of Honor. Folds of Honor is a group that pays for the college scholarships for kids who lost a parent in combat. Last year, Folds of Honor gave away over $60 million in college grants to the kids who lost parents in combat. You think about that, 60 million over 12 months, that's five million a month last year. And now they're going past that. Every bottle that I sell, the tithe goes to Folds of Honor. We hope to be a big income stream for those guys. So. I brought my guitar, I brought my Sharpie, and I want to say thank you to the great state of Alabama for having me down here. I know it's Easter weekend. You guys are awesome. I don't know about this guy, but I'm... That's <laughs> kind of weird, right? Standing <laughs> <place. laughs> so let's, uh, let's sign some bottles. I will sing one more song. You want to hear one more? I mean, I got it on my neck. What should we do? Same for uh, I knew you'd say the best. I knew you'd say the best, sister. I know it's coming. You have to do it, right? Yeah, you will. I mean, I can't come in here and not do it. Now, what do I do when it says I buy the bar double round the... I have to change the lyrics? Yeah. I buy the bar double round the redneck and everybody's getting down on this town.
and the girls say, Say hello, Spidey Cowboy. Everybody say, Say hello, Spidey Cowboy. What? What? Say hello, Spidey Cowboy. Last time everybody sang it, Say hello, Spidey Cowboy. Now we're <laughs> Shall we buy some bottles, ladies and gentlemen? Let's do it. God bless you guys. Here we go.